To add Google Analytics to your Investor Carrot website, uh, it just takes a few minutes. It's pretty darn simple. So first of all, I'm logged into a uh, the dashboard of this demo site, and I'm going to show you where you put in your Google Analytics code so you can track your website's visitors. You can do split test conversions, all kinds of stuff with this system. So first of all, log into your dashboard and scroll down. You can see the Settings tab and Google Analytics. So go ahead and click Google Analytics. The next thing you're going to see is this little box with the site tracking code. So it's saying your Google Analytics tracking code is this. Okay. Um, and then this is this is kind of a cool little feature we have in here as well that you can track your page load time. So what that means is Google really likes to see fast load times on pages, which our system does. Uh, when it, when a, a page loads fast, it's going to reward it with the higher search ranking versus a page that loads, that loads slow. So when you're in here, there's some instructions. It says, you know, Google Analytics is an uh, enterprise class web analytics solution. You can just go ahead and read this if you'd like, and it'll help you better uh, prepare yourself for who's visiting your site, how many people are visiting the site, when they're, uh, they're going to be visiting, what things they're typing into Google to get there, the whole shebang. And then there's this, how do I set this up? So to get going, just sign up for Google Analytics. There's a link right there. You just go ahead and click it, and it will take you to a place to sign up for Google Analytics. Uh, you have to have a Google account, uh, a free account, to sign up for Google Analytics. And Google Analytics is free. And like I said, all the Google Analytics is, it's a really powerful uh, free software that helps you track your website visitors and, and stats in a really cool way. Um, and we do have stats built into Investor Carrot that pull out of Google Analytics. But if you want to control your own Google Analytics account, this is how you do it. So the first thing we need to do is once again go into our Google Analytics account. I already have one. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'll click Google Analytics. I'm going to go ahead and sign into my account. Okay, so the first thing you do uh, is, is go to your admin tab. And this may be this may change a little bit by the time you uh, check this out because Google does update the way that their Google Analytics software works. So just use Google's help section if you're not exactly sure how to how to set up a website in here. But what you're going to do is once you've set up a website, and I'm going to show you what happens. You'll take that code, you'll put it in right there, click Save Changes, and that's it. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a new website in here under one that I've already got going. So I'm going to add a new property. It's a website. Website name. Crown Falls Apartments. And I'm just going to go ahead and fill out the rest of these categories. Okay, so I just filled out those categories and it, uh, I clicked the create tracking code and it gives me this tracking code right here. So all we're going to do is we're going to copy this tracking code. So UA and then it's going to have a bunch of numbers after. Go back into your account and you can see here it says put in your Google Analytics tracking code. It starts with UA and then it has numbers. Paste it in there, click save changes and automatically that's put on the bottom. Uh, it's put in the code of the website and now Google Analytics is tracking it. So when you want to uh, check out the, the stats for your website, just log into Google Analytics, check it out anytime it'll be in there. So enjoy if you have any questions about stats, about analytics, about how to really dive into analytics and get the most out of them so you're uh, converting more uh, traffic to leads.